was not clear. Vertigo was not fun. Not for the ninjas, but maybe Dust 2 is a bit of a change. However, Trace, as said on the desk, as said by Hugo B. Byron from Brighton, Oxfordshire. <laughs> Vitality, they love this map. NIP, they haven't played it since November. The last five times they played it, they lost it, and that was all last year. So, good luck. Are you saying that's not a real place? Yes, I'm saying that you've mixed two different locations oh. together. Both yeah. of them are places, neither of them are near. But you're the result of what we've gotten out of mixing them together. So that's yes. kind of cool, though, I guess. Uh, anyway, moving along swiftly here into a pistol round is what we will do. Welcome back, everybody. This is the core, or the DreamHack Master Spring 2020, I should say, and the core of it is brought to you right here by us. And Zaiwu, of course, with a PZ-50 on the pistol round. You do love to see that. Check out this little boost here lower, though. RPK is trying to spot up Catwalk, which would create a little bit of a, a little bit of an opening here should Vitality want to run the gauntlet and run the jewels right up on Catwalk. However, they're going to take it slow. They're going to take it easy. It's a good call for Vitality. No one's on Cat right now. NIP's only line of defense for this play is Twist on the, the long side, and he would have to peel back, take some shots, and then fall off to play retake. That's how NIP are playing right now, for retake. Uh, Vitality have the utility to get them towards the site, so Twist, he's going to hear all of this. He's going to go back, but if he dies here, it's a big problem, and he realizes that, so he just completely concedes the position. That's a surprise to not see him even go for a shot, but mm. it will allow a 5-on-5 five five post plant here with NIP with two flashes in the spawn coming in for a retake. Take. Um, well, only a couple bullets have been fired thus far. It's going to be Rez trying to get hyper aggressive Ooh. right here, and he's trying to find some heads to tap on. He's not going to be alone. Looks like Nip want to get in the fight fast, cognizant of the idea that someone could be coming out middle. Zaiwu out of the round. Rez doing all that he can here from long, and they've stacked up. They have actually kind of come together here and taking this site. Just shocks at a 1v3. The defuse should come through no problem. And that's going to be Hampus picking it up. So everything that we've said, or moreover, everything that Hugo said is a lie. No, incorrect. Oh. Rez, he's great at pistol rounds. He's, he's fantastic. We know it. And I think if there was one map that, the, Vita uh, sorry, the NIP could be able to win here with a new in-game leader, despite the fact that, you know, how good Vitality are yeah. on this map and the, and the NIP haven't played it, it would be Dust. It's because even though NIP don't play it competitively, everyone knows how to play Dust. Everyone knows exactly. what to do. And Hampus can surely lead these guys to su success here. But like I said, it's not going to be an easy road. The individuals are great on Vitality. That last map was expertly called. And yeah, it, their work is cut out for them. But a pistol round trace, that will push them over the mark. That will start them off strong. Vitality, however, they want the same. They're going to force in the second round with three M uh, AKs, rather, a couple of Deegs, and a quick long mm. take that does find a kill. Yeah, and you've got to imagine that pistol round doesn't sit well with Vitality. Look to get right back in the fight. And so far, so good. Just two players alive in Hampus and Plopsky. And so far, Nip get dunked on in this round. Zaiwu's out of the picture. They don't even need him. Vitality, looking hot to trot. Plopsky has pushed an upper B. He does know that there's no one here. But guess what? That does you absolutely no good when the bomb is about to be planted on A momentarily. Nonetheless, Molotov biding a little bit more time. I think Hampus has realized what's going on here. And for Nip, you look at that first round, you you know, you count your lucky stars. You you say your your prayers or whatnot, but now you've moved forward in the second round, which you've immediately lost. You lost before, you know, the bomb was even planted, really. And we're back to business as usual. <laughs> Save city here for NIP. It's, uh, yeah. Population two. Imagine Jame in pajamas. Or don't imagine that. Uh, yeah, I won't. <laughs> But, but worth worth thinking about. I'll save that for later. Yeah, I mean, it, you know, it's just you know, it's just an idea that kind of like I was crafting for words, not necessarily the mental image. Um, well, too bad. You put it in my head, Trace. It's not leaving. And neither are Vitality. They're going to hang around the A site, save their guns, get the round, and NIP have left this one to a third. They're going to try and force by round these two safe guns, but the issue is, Trace, CT economy, man, I hate it. I, I'm not going to go on a rant. I hate it. I absolutely can't stand it because NIP, they win a pistol. They lose to three AKs. Why have Vitality got three AKs when NIP can't even afford three M4s? And now NIP are broke. Like, welcome to Counter-Strike. Nothing makes sense, especially not the economy. But NIP, they got to make do with what they got. The three is up and the SMGs are out. It's a fast play for Vitality out long once again. Preach, Hugo. Let him know how you really feel. RPK is trying to do just that. He finds himself out of the blue bin, but a little bit of help from Mizuda. He's going to go a long way. The spray is going in the way of Vitality, and that's three players out of the running. Bye easy, bye. easy. Make it four. Just knock. And don't you worry. I'm going to start knock, knock, knocking on A site's door here any second. 
This is just this young player left with a scout, and he's got nowhere to run. Oh, God, it's like watching Trace on an anti-eco. They're just sprinting towards him. They are chasing <laughs> this scout down. They know he's got nothing to do and nothing to do it with. It's like he's going to find it eventually, and Vitality will shut out the round with ease. No deaths, no losses, full money, and quite the opposite here for NIP, who have to take a hard eco before the next. Hey, you recognize this guy on the screen? Oh, yeah, I think he used to be uh, the sick, the sick top tier in game leader for some Swedish roster. I can't remember. Uh, I can't quite remember what team. Man, it's really good, though. They had something figured out. Like, they were they were looking good. It was Nip. <laughs> and then they, it somehow has been deduced that Lecro was the problem, I guess. Yeah. Either way, that's not up to I, us. That's up to them. I don't want to, like, let's talk over this, right? Let's talk about it, Trent. Let's over talk this over it. Okay, I'll, I'll talk about it. I don't want to, like, wreck NIP because they made this change, right? Because, again, there's so much that as outsiders, we don't know what goes on inside exactly. of the team. I'm not saying that Lecro is toxic, right? That's not what I'm saying. But but sometimes teams don't gel, players don't gel. And of course, yeah, NIP, they're probably gonna lose a series trace. My money would be on that if I were if I were with Betway. But uh but Hampus, you gotta give him time, man. You gotta you gotta let him fit into this role because he is a good player. He always has been a good player, and I'm actually excited to see him in this team. It's just a shame it came at the cost of of a really good in-game leader who is like excellent individually. I, and and that's why it's such a shocking roster change, at least for me, because it didn't feel like there was a problem in NIP, but again, we don't know what goes on internally. So we only have to sit back, relax, and wait and see, and hope the Hampers can craft something throughout the remainder of this tournament for this team. And, and truth be told, you're right. I mean, we, we are specul speculatively speaking up here. That's quite the word. RPK having quite the shot on the res. And well, there was really no chance for Nip in this round, just in the USP, some pistol form. Guy Luke taking the skirmish to top middle, and he's going to find two with it. That's going to be another round here for Vitality. You're making it look easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Good start, and you know, it's such a good map for Vitality. This is it really going to be a trial by fire for, for Nip, but there was a time to show off your individuals, show us what you got. This would be it. Res, he found three on the pistol. He's been silent ever since, but now armed with an M4, the first of which for NIP, full four. No kits for the retake, so save is likely if Vitality get a bomb plant. They won't fast long, but NIP will. Four players there, funnily enough, but with the Molotovs going down and no T's getting out, Vitality will go elsewhere. NIP have to be considering that B site right now, and Hampus has begun a rotation in through middle. That's not the case, though. RPK is lower to cut off those rotations and any upper dark aggression. But right now, Vitality's running up towards A. No util, no flashes, no anything. They're just going to throw bodies at the problem. Norm, he's on the corner, baited in by Zywall on the ramp. They get one. And Hampers here in the pit, still alive and kicking ramp side. RPK lurks out middle for a kill. And Shox tries to back off with the bomb to join his teammate, knowing both players are on A, but he gets caught. Should have committed, leaving RPK in a clutch. All right, RPK, let's see what you've got. He's got them all top. Bomb has been planted, but that will flush some players out of the site. Unlikely, though, that that was going to work out for him. He did leave himself a little exposed. Shots do land for Nip. We see a second one going on the board here. Uh, I don't think uh, Vitality are ready for the bait and switch, right? The Goose player. Mizuta does trade, but but that's a big problem. Nort gets away with one onto Zaiwu, and then Shox realizes that A is lost. He has to run away. If he tucked Gandalf or just held him for a fight, maybe it would have gone better for Vitality, but he thought he had a timing. He thought he could have escaped and NIP won't let him get away with it. Shock's on long with the AWP, he gets smoked on the molly, that's so great to mm. see. NIP losing a man early, and oh, look at this reaction. This is so classic for Vitality. They get a long pick, NIP is scared of A, Vitality run all the way back, and that's a key smoke as well, Xbox smoke going down. Now, if there's anyone in middle for NIP, they're gonna see that smoke, and they're gonna go, oh, Vitality are going cat to A, they're splitting A with that long pick. No, they're B rushing, baby. Russian baby for a Flopsky, and he's gonna get it. He's gonna line them all up. Almost grabs one midair. Apex gives him the fight of his life. Now a twist on the door. It's gonna be a 3v3 here. Now this is a situation where we saw Face Clan play retake of the site, and now we're looking at a Nip trying to play retake of the site. A little bit of a boost. Something cheeky, as you might call it, Hugo. We're looking over it. Oh. It's actually gonna work too. They're gonna find the bomb. They're gonna stop it right in its tracks. But still, plenty of time to work with. Shocks in the back of the site with AWP. Apex is going to be able to recover the bomb, get it planted. And I think they're considering the boost a second time. But they don't go for it. Instead, Apex resmokes the door. Now we have a 2v3. Let's get back to the play here, though. What do you think he's going to do? 
He wanted to push close, but he got tagged. So now NIP actually hear that he's you know in this position. He's probably going to move or commit and doesn't want to throw uh, himself at the uh, the problem. That's a great shot. Shock sees the, uh, the side of Hampus' head and he'll take it out. Apex misses his shot and Shock's getting overwhelmed by two, missing the flick. If he hit it, there was a chance. But without, it's going to be around for NIP. Apex, man, he puts Twist to seven. If only he finished that kill, it would have been Vitality's round. But a big retake coming through for NIP. Nice patience there, right? Going for the boost. Dropping the bomb, waiting, 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 and going in together as a unit. You know, too many, too many teams will try and stop that plant by flashing through the door and just getting aggressive. But because there are so many players watching that position, you often get none. And even if you get one, you get traded. And and typically the T's are going to be a man up anyway. So trading when you're a man down isn't really good. And IP though, looking good on this map, right? Like they don't play it, but I, I'm liking what I'm seeing. Shock's got out long, they didn't realize. Twist finds a pick, but Shock's does trade, and Zaibu's orb has found another. Rez is here, Twist is not, and oh my, it's a bloodbath at long. Four CTs dying in this position. Vitality have no problem with taking those engagements, and Propsky is in the wrong place at the wrong time. And we, we look at this map, we've talked about it beforehand, how Nip don't have really anything to go off of here, right? They're kind of like just driving in the dark almost with the headlights off. And what that can do is for Vitality, if they start to turn up the pressure, if they start to turn up the heat a little bit and really put some speed and momentum on the, the plan of action that they have for each round, they can really throw a spanner for Nip, who ultimately on a map that they, you know, do not play, will really not have the protocols. They won't have that CT-sided answer for what Vitality throws. That, that is the key, right? It's like, it's like, you know, when you're losing, when you're winning, whenever, the, yeah, I know, right? When you're winning, when everything's going well, like it's fine, you can keep calling, you can keep believing, everyone believes in the in-game leader, everyone's feeling good, but when you're losing, and that point will appear in this game for NIP, when they start losing, does Hampus have the answers? Does he have the solutions right. to the problems that Vitality are presenting? That can always be the hard part on, on going on a map you don't play. So. We'll have to wait and see. Right now, this is competitive, and that's what we want, considering how Vertigo wasn't. Yeah. Zywoo, nice mid-shot. He saved Shox's life. He gets tagged, and one of the two scouts removed from the round, at least temporarily, could get picked up. Probably will, but NIP really don't have a lot to play with in this round. He's going to smoke the mid-doors. Double cap set up, looking to collapse into middle. Press playing advanced position up here on Catwalk with the Deagle, hoping to grab himself one or two. Just to keep this one potentially within the grasp of Nip. Plopsky's going to be there to back him up. So what will happen here? Plopsky will shoot first should they push up Catwalk. Then Rez can swing in an attempt to get more frags. But the call's been made for Vitality. They're going to show some presence out here. And they want to go towards middle. Zywu, a little bit aware, it seems, of the idea. Someone could be on Catwalk. Could be very close. And he is exactly right. He's already dinked Rez down with the clock. And now he just waits for his teammates to get there and help him out. Shocked with the Mac 10. Mac Daddio gets it done. And it's Mizuto. Mizuda, rather. Mizuti? Mizuti, Mizuto, Mistudo, whatever, man. Ray Mysterio. Prosciutto. Oh, that's good. I like that. Just twist and knock. And now you did say two scouts. Lo and behold, that's what they have in their hands, Hugo. Yep, and it will probably remain as well, unless Vitality looks to take these guns away. And, well, that's the thing for Vitality. They probably will. They don't really need to, because these aren't exactly big weapons to save for NIP. Vitality, though, are feeling full confidence, looking for the 2-0 and looking to make it as easy as they can. Shock's got spotted with a MAC-10. I'd love Shock's to commit here, because why not, right? You have a MAC-10. Like, you're going to be able to upgrade Send it anyway. It, yeah. Just just go for it. But he's grouping with his team. He's clearing T-spawn. Uh, Apex is holding for the long push. And and obviously, this is the safe play. This is Vitality going, we don't need to hunt. They have nothing to save. And that isn't far from the truth. Two scouts isn't going to provide much salvation for NIP moving forward. And so Vitality, they'd rather just keep five alive. And I respect that as well. Up to five on this T-side. And NIP still broke, Trace. But don't worry, man. They got those two scouts from the last round, so everything should be just fine Woo! for Nip, who are really not where they want to be at this moment in time. Five to three, they find themselves at a two deficit. And I just want to reflect back to April 7th, 2013. Okay. Good now, old days. Without looking over here, um, Hugo, what do you think happened on that day? <sighs> was it was it NIP's loss, oh, win streak getting broken at Star Series? Yeah. I think I recall. Also, Zywoo's neck cranium being broken right there by Nock with one of those scouts that we just memed on about saving from the last round. So, albeit four versus four. What up now, Frenchies? Woo! Woo!
yeah. <laughs> 87 and 0 at one point, Trace. Crazy to consider. Who was it that knocked them? VP? Mm -hmm. God damn. Once upon a time, Hugo Byron. Good old days. Back in my day, the boomer days. Yep. I'm just kidding, man. I'm not a boomer. Okay, boomer. Get out of my face. Uh, but obviously, completely different roster to the one yeah. we have currently, as in not even any of the same players. Not even remotely close. Oh. In fact, this is the new generation. We we're kind of talking about it on the desk and how this is the, the underclassmen finally getting to that senior level. And yeah. Speaking of getting to that level, it's a long push here that proves to be fatal. Plopsky and Rez fall. Knox is the only one that's finding some frags and success in this round at this point. He's also the only one alive. He's got two kills to his name, and that's the bomb down in the upper. They shouldn't have a problem clearing him out unless they all line up three deep in the door. Ooh. But here's Shox. He's just running around with a MAC-10 like the gangster he is. That scout trace, probably the best save I've ever seen. Three kills from Nork, all worth it. Shock should have hunted. Look at the regret on the face of Vitality. <laughs> no, of course not. It's, it's not a problem, but yeah, I mean, that's why you why you would hunt with a MAC-10 and why you probably should hunt with a MAC-10, but it's still around for Vitality. So at the end of the day, does it matter? Probably not. 6-3 and NIP, they're back in with guns. Trace, they have yet to field an AWP in this game. And that doesn't feel good when you're 10 rounds deep. No, it doesn't. For Apex, the fire doesn't feel good either. He tries them all top it off instead. He's gonna go for the oh. fight. He's getting one. He's given one, rather. That's knock. And now Rez, with the response, he's kept this one honest. He's kept it even 4v4. Vitality has just done this all game long. They hit long, they get a kill, and then they just rush B. And there's only ever one man here. Again, it's Hampus. What RPK? That was through the window. That wasn't the jumping prior in the door. He does save his teammate, and Shock shuts okay. down another in the spawn, ready for that position. Vitality are just taking names, and this is unreal right now. Like, it's not like they're even doing anything special. Every round has pretty much gone the same way. Every rifle yeah. round, at least. And NIP have fallen for it time after time again. But that's dust two for you, man. The second NIP move away from this quad long setup and put two or three in B, Vitality, they'll fast cat or they'll go long. So, you know, sometimes that's just how the cookie crumbles. And right now, Twist, oh dear, he doesn't realize how close he is to shocks look at rez just hiding out behind someone's car over here i'm wondering if he even asked if he can hang out around here i know i would be suspect of that position and so is rpk jesus that is a rather unfortunate turn of events for rez nothing you can do you just feel hopeless Yo, out of control clock. so seven to three sort of as somebody predicted vitality absolutely smashing on nip right here on dust two for a second, thought it was a jumping player, was a little disgusted, a little grossed out there, Trace, but it's okay, it's all under control. Not for an IP though, one rifle in this round, safe from Twist. He did deal with shocks on long, and uh, that's at least kept something here for an IP in this game, or in this round, rather. Pistols surrounding the one M4, and that is the middle. Shocks rids it of the round immediately, and there we go. Is this a bit to be, do you think, Trace? Um, it certainly looks like it, especially if you consider the pistol power over here on Nip which is uh, lacking to say the least. Here, have a dink on your way through, Apex. This cool. one, this one's all but done right here in this round. Knock and Plopsky, they both have deagles. They're both at long, they're both smoked off for middle. There's five alive for Vitality. Can I paint you an even grimmer picture? I'm not sure. I prefer you did. I would prefer I didn't as well. I'd rather actually just kind of take this time to tell you to hit Control T on your browser and go to dreamhackpredictions.com. Or wait, Dreamhack. Pick them. DreamHackPickem.com. I don't know what the other link goes to. <laughs> don't go there. I do not, uh, you know, I, I don't stand by the that first link. links to my Twitter. So, oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. You can go there as well. I, uh... I, I found it kind of cool you can buy the .ggs. I've actually purchased yeah. them myself. Of course, if you, you know, actually this is a good segue because uh, I did want to give a shout out to NIP as the org. They did send us a bunch of, of swag and you can actually get that at the .gl, Trace, .goodluck, NIP .gl, so, and they have their infra collection. That's what I'm wearing on the desk. You'll see me on the camera later. Actually, probably won't because Harry will take the second half. I maybe. Maybe, maybe he won't. Maybe he won't show up. Who knows? We'll keep it. We'll keep it locked and loaded right here. But yeah. I see that your T-shirt is sold out now. I know this isn't a nip commercial. No. But we're basically trying to pick up some of the slack where they're leaving off in the server. Right now, <laughs> we're going to see that AWP out for Hampus, and also on Twist. So what's going to be the answer here? Shocks gets out in front of it on long, but no one's there to receive the Lapua. Just a bullet. Yes. Uh, very sense. very high caliber round. I don't want to let everyone know about that. Word. Vitality, 8-3 up here. NIP have been silent since, uh, well, round number six. And dear, oh dear, 
We are double that now. Up cat vitality go. Norks in the spawn. We got twist on the orb. Oh my. Finally for NIP, the double AWP. I've been waiting forever for this trace. Hampus has got his on the mid side, defending B, and uh, for good reason, considering how many mid to Bs we've seen. Twist is in the position to stop this cat play. But I imagine Vitality, they've run a lot of dry XX here, but they should throw the smoke in, in cat this time to try and deny that info, especially up against full guns. So that they do. It's a drop into CT, it's a fake and a hit towards B, but Popsky's pushed to the tunnel. He's denied that aggression. Hampus finds one with his orb. Needs to double down here, there's a player close, but Zywu overwhelms him with a tech nine, and one more shot for Zywu, he won't stop, two on two, the bomb is dropped and so is Apex, but Zywu trades as he often does, and now that leaves him in the clutch. What a god, he even picks up the AK, he's got three kills to his name right here, one on one with Rez, Rez has a Molotov and a kit, and Zywu really had a pretty advanced or aggressive positioning there to begin this retake scenario, peeking out the window, you never really know who's on the other side of the window. In this case, it's going to be Rez, working his way up slowly into the site. Taking his time. Not sure where Zywu lays and waits. That's going to be in the back of the site. So just a crash course, a collision course at that. Who's going to get the shot off first? Zywu lets Rez into the site. Here's the bomb. Get tapped. And that's going to be enough to check it. An easy one bullet, an easy one click. Zywu oh, makes it look convincing with four kills in the round. Really mops up what little bit of trouble Vitality ran into right there. I'm not sure what was going through Rez's mind. Maybe he thought Zywu was on the big box in the site, but he was watching door the entire time. He knew that Zywu hasn't and couldn't have crossed towards the tunnels, but you can see he's not looking at the back of the site. So just definitely not expecting Zywu in that position there. And you know maybe he thought he was big box, which would have still gone in line with the information that Rez had in that clutch. Unfortunate stuff, though, his Molotov could have won in the round, and... Wow. Coulda, woulda, shoulda, Hugo. Yeah, coulda, they woulda, shoulda. Or at least for Nip, they don't have a response just yet. Nine to three. The first hat, or excuse me, the first map done and dusted. Yeah. He's just on this dust two. This one going by pretty fast as well. Shocks up 14 and five. Zywu helping him out and RPK. I mean, everyone's showing up today here for uh, Vitality. Shocks is 25 and 9 in Vertigo. Zywu 20 and 12. Apex 21 and 13. Like, these are just keen, clean scores for Vitality. And, well, not one for NIP in this one. Three rounds to their name and pistols in this game. It's going to be Vitality nice. just holding. And I love how Vitality are always on top of the economy. They know exactly what NIP are bringing into every round. And they play it as they should. Look at this. They know it's eco, and so they spread out a default. They have two players grouped to, to trade any aggression for NIP, but they're also holding on to every extremity, not letting Nip get away with pushing, prodding, poking, and information. It seems like NIP want to do that late round, though, right as Vitality stop holding and start to move into middle. So this double cat setup combined with two in middle, Norks lining up flashes, things can get hairy. The Molotov out in the door is going to eliminate the idea that someone from NIP is playing close mid-doors. Zywu is going to assume the angle and hit the shot. That is such a narrow angle twist. None the wiser. Here comes the cat play, and the swing is there. Apex is able to pick up two. Vitality really starting to run away with it at this point. Just knocking Plopsky on deagles. Patience for NIP, but even more so for Vitality. It's not even going to really reward them, is it? Because <laughs> waiting for Vitality to walk around the corner and shoot you in the face doesn't feel all too nice. 10 3, double digits. And uh, things are looking as they did on Vertigo Trace, just extremely dominant. Double orbs again for NIP. Will this be a solution? Hampus found a kill last time they had this, but Twist was avoided on the A site with his. So maybe Vitality go for another long take. That was working very early on in this game, but there's only one man here. Luckily, it is Twist. Luckily, it's the orb, but Vitality are not waiting. The molly lands. Zywu goes ahead of it, and he hides in the smoke that he dropped for a bin's molly. That's smart, but it won't matter because the Twist only on here. He's going to fall back after a single shot, not wanting to give away too much. Nork Frank is being held, but he will get away with a kill. Nice spot for Nork. Nork, finding Apex. Will he be ready for shocks though for the trade? Yes. Double down for Nork. Rez up on the catwalk. This is a good round for NIP and it's not stopping, but as I say that, it stops. Nork 
Kamikaze gets dropped and RBK finds a timing out middle. I think he heard the scope of Twist. He perfectly peaks that position. Apple striking dark. Oh, but he makes a quick switch. Luckily, he doesn't punish him. He'll punish RBK, but he takes down Plopsky right before he dies. This bomb behind the car gets picked back up and Mazuta heads towards Long with Zai Wu. You think that or not. it was all a big ruse. It was all a lie, Hugo. Now Hampus and Rez hold on to what little hope is left in this half for Nip. And actually, with that swing, Hampus is able to take down Mizuta easily, so that's going to help the war effort quite a bit. Zaiwu, V2. Now, if you're Nip, you are a little scared. He's got the bomb, he's got a Molotov, a flash, and he's going to walk right through the smoke with the Tech 9 out. Hampus, he knew a little bit better. He knew something was funky. That's a 10 3 play for you, though. Yeah, it is. It really is. It's not one that you see every day. But Nock now, this is an interesting character. I uh, actually, I caught up with him at, at the previous DreamHack Masters. And, you know, we, we were kind of discussing about his storyline and, and his play. And little did you know, he ends up on Nip. Uh, I think he's a player, young player, shows a lot of promise. More than that, he's a cool guy. Right now, leading the charge for Nip. 10 and 12. He ain't saying a whole lot, considering it's the last run of the half, and we currently sit 10 to 4. Oh, and another entry. Vitality gone very fast. Unit up cat. It's again a great call. And I just, I, I don't understand. I can't, I can't break down this game. They're just hitting every shot trace. And IP are losing every fight. And Vitality are grouping as a unit, rushing positions. Classic Dust 2 gameplay here. This is so nice to watch the Vitality. And there's a wrong oh my God. Peace out, no. There's, there's a reason that NIP have not played this map since November last year. And when they did play it last year, they lost it the last five times they played it. So, yeah, NIP, maybe keep this one out of the map pool for now. Yeah, oh dear, Plopsky, he's in a bit of a clutch here. He's in a bit of a situation, a sticky one at that. The smoke on the molly actually provides him a bit of leeway as he rushes up the catwalk in a one-on-five. But... Welcome back, everybody. 11 to 4 ninjas in pajamas. Well, more like just ninjas because they are vanishing. The stars are not aligning for them. Vitality currently sitting up in this series, feeling good, looking better. And this is the DreamHack Master Spring 2020. Welcome back, everybody. It's nice to see all of you out there on what is the 28th, of course, today being a Thursday. <laughs> had to double check on that one. May the 28th, even. Had to double check that, too. RPK. Not much that he's going to be checking here. Pretty standard setup for the side of Vitality for a pistol round, at least. This is where things could start to run back the other way if Nip have an answer. And we're going to find out real quick what the T-side looks like. I'm here with just Harry, not to be confused with another Harry. Yeah, uh, that happens all the time. More often than you'd think, Trace. RPK in this round. No one's getting him confused with anything other than the tank he is as he shuts down this long push. Masuta now, they have got an in to B and a little bit deeper than he was ready for. But Apex and Masuta get it back under control. And with this pistol round not going the way of NIP, any hope of a comeback might mm. go out of the window with it. That's the sad truth. 12 to 4 now for Team Vitality. Pistol locked in. If I'm an IP, I imagine they're going to take an eco here. I don't really think there's any one like right decision to make in a, in a spot like this, right? Because on one hand, you just want to play for as many rounds as you can. You want right. to try and get back on track. And on the other, if you if you were to force here, which they haven't done, then yeah, if, if you don't find success in it, then your first full buy is coming in up against 14. So. I, I like this decision, right? They're waiting to get the rifles. They're waiting till they can show us what this T-side is made of. But it's gonna be have it's gonna have to be made of some pretty stern stuff, Trace. That it is. Of course, for Vitality, smooth sailing so far here on Dust Dude. Again, a map we haven't seen Nip play in a very, very long time. Well, Shox has actually erased Hampus from the server. And of course, we all felt that. And when I say we, I'm talking about you and I. And all of the people of the Twitch chat. Let's see if these Glocks can do anything. I, I mean, they probably can't, be it real. Let's see, Shox, this is just the mow down moment. No, he actually gets Glocked down from the tunnels. Masut and out. There's two players tagged down low, courtesy of Shox, but he's got the whole round under wraps. Might be able to go and grab this M4 as well. And he does just get it before the round draws to a close. So he makes a nice little 
1800 there does uh, does masuta retrieves the m4 and now this leaves the option of an AWP buy available to Team Vitality heading into this first buy round. But instead, they're going to attempt to run a bit of a bonus here, keeping a bunch of SMGs in play, two MP5s. Uh, I don't really feel like you see this gun a hell of a lot in the in the pro level. I'm personally not that big a fan. The MP5? Yeah, it just, I don't know, man. I think, I think like, the, the, the MP9 is just does everything yeah. better and is cheaper. But look at it this way. When you're up 13-4 on the second yeah, you map, can buy I whatever guess, you want. Man. Yeah, I mean, I, I guess you might as well give it a, give it a whirl. They, they, not they, they, to just disrespect Nip, if yeah, anything yeah. else. They, no? they, they could have three negatives at this point. I, I, you know, it wouldn't, it wouldn't, I wouldn't be looking at it like, why have they done that? You know, like, it doesn't matter. Like, they're, they're so far ahead. And if you're feeling confident, then you go for it. So... Let's see, this little MP5 raining out some of these silent shots. Apex working his way in. It's the MP5 clan over here at long. Uh, they smoke off close. Now, in response to seeing this long aggression, NIP are going to try and work their way up catwalk. They know that if a player is that deep, then he's probably going to be pretty slow to help his teammates out inside of the site. Here we go. With the nip loaded onto the cat. Going to try to work their way up here, and it looks like they want to do it with some utility as well. Zaiwu will be their first point of contest. He's hanging around, around the elbow. He gets ahead of the smoke. Now, this is going to be the lineup in the mow down. You would think that so many more players were vulnerable right there. Zaiwu is only good for one, but it shocks playing from Goose. He should have to drop one at least two, and he does. Hampus was low. He makes it look easy. Plopsky now in a one on two. Just under half health. Tries to find the first frag, the first skirmish she takes. Just not gone his way. They're not giving him the fights that he wants. Plopsky now forced to fight this rather than go for a plant. And really, it's Vitality that just step on the pain. It steps on the wound. And it does not feel good for Nim. Now, at this point, right, no money for an IP. That first buy round not finding anything. A bomb plant there would have made all the difference, right? The lowest amount on a player in this round is 2,900. And so if you got the $800 from that bomb plant, you would be buying here on the NIP side. It's kind of heartbreaking that they're not able to get that one over the line. Well, this is an interesting fact, and you know, we'll put other stuff aside. I think the F is the most important part of this fact because right now the Fs are in order for the ninjas in pajamas, the ninjas. Yeah, I mean, this this Lecro roster change was one that like surprised a lot of people, uh, and me being one of them. And you know, I, I don't think it's fair to be judging an IP too harshly yet. I think we need to give them time. But it might it might be like one of these roster moves that you know, like for the first maybe like few weeks, it doesn't look like it's paying off, and then as Hampus has some time to like instill his brand, his style of Counter-Strike into the team, maybe we see improvements. But in this round, it's a fast B play trade. We've got to see if they can stand the test of time at the B site for Vitality. And it's looking okay. Shox has been able to keep it in their advantage and he will drop the bomb. Yeah, he will. Not good times at the B site for Nip. Knock on a scout, does get a leg shot off onto Apex, but that puts Vitality up to map and series point. Now, interestingly enough, while we have this time, Harry, I think there's a talking point or discussion to be had about the system that was kind of, or the, uh, I guess the idea of what NIP was supposed to be created around, which is a threat kind of as the coach and really leading a young group of players and working in tandem with Lecro as that IGL. But that's not the picture that's being painted anymore. Yeah, well, so, you know, we, we were talking about this a bit during one of the breaks, and that was why it felt so weird to me. It was just like, surely Lecro and Threat had like a nice system worked out between the two of them. And I think it's going to be quite jarring for Hampus coming into this as the IGL, having to, to kind of share that responsibility with Threat, who, who, bear in mind, is going to be operating on an entirely different system to what Hampus was. So a lot of this is going to be like a test as to how quickly Hampus can adapt, how quickly the, this NIP squad can try and find like a middle ground between what they were doing with Lecro and what Hampus is looking to do to the team. Because that's the thing, if you brought Hampus in to just call Lecro's style, then why didn't you just keep Lecro, right? That just <laughs> seems like yeah. the obvious, the, the kind of obvious question there. I do think it's something we're just going to have to wait and see, because here today, this NIP squad have not really shown up in the server. Of course, day one of this roster change, so I don't think we can look at it too harshly. But as an eye test, it certainly isn't like, you know, NIP coming into this server, showing loads of potential, looking great. No, it, it, it's suggesting that this might be a pretty 
long project for them. Now, Rez is going to get up here over towards Catwalk. For the first minute of this round or so, not much has really gone down. No one's really seen anyone. No map control's really been taken outside of Cat. And so that leaves NIP with this A play as their only option in this round. They don't have lower tunnels. They don't have mid. They've got a player at long. They've got guys on Cat. They've got to go. They've got to commit. Oh! And Apex, they go. He shuts down pretty much everybody. Hampus is able to get that trade at the very, very least. But he's left up in a 1v3 to Back try up. and deny the victory to Team Vitality. This is asking a hell of a lot of this man. Gets the bomb planted at the very, very least. And he's now looking for these gunfights. But Team Vitality, they're playing this smart. They're playing it slow. You know what they say, Trace? Slow is smooth and smooth. Well, it is fast. So Hampus repositioning over towards short side. No fights given to him yet. And Vitality, they're going to swing this all together. He gets dropped.